Samsung's flagship Galaxy Tab S series has been a constant presence in the Android tablet market, pushing the boundaries of what a premium slate can offer. However, rumors are saying that the company's upcoming Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra could be facing development hurdles, potentially delaying its launch until early 2025 alongside the Galaxy S25 smartphone lineup. The biggest question seems to be which chipset Samsung will opt for Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon or its in-house Exynos Silicon. Rumored launch delay According to a new leak from the semi-reliable source Grow on X, formerly Twitter, Samsung is grappling with development challenges for the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. While details are scarce, the rumor claims the company's top-tier tablet may not debut until early 2025, launching alongside the highly anticipated Galaxy S25 series smartphones. This would mark a significant departure from Samsung's typical August release schedule for its Galaxy Tab S flagships. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra hit the market last August, while the Tab S8 Ultra was an early 2022 arrival. If true, the Tab S10 Ultra's postponed launch could disappoint fans eager to get their hands on Samsung's latest and greatest tablet offering. Chipset Conundrum one potential root cause for the reported delays could be Samsung's indecision over which processor to use in the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. With Qualcomm's newly announced Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus chips targeted at premium Android devices, the company faces a tough choice between using its own Exynos Silicon or Qualcomm's offerings. Recent rumors suggest the Exynos 2500 is in development in two variants an octa-core and a decked-out 10-core version, with the latter potentially earmarked for larger devices like tablets. This potent chip could provide the horsepower needed for the expected 14.6-inch Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra's expansive display and demanding workloads. However, Samsung may also be considering Qualcomm's just-announced flagship Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 mobile platform, set to debut in Android devices this fall. This top-tier chip would certainly deliver performance befitting a premium tablet. Cost versus Performance Trade-off Choosing between Exynos and Snapdragon isn't just a performance decision, it's a cost calculation too. By using its in-house Exynos 2500, Samsung could potentially save on component costs compared to paying the Qualcomm Premium for a Snapdragon chip. But that cost saving could come at the expense of raw performance if the Exynos lags behind Qualcomm's latest silicon. With Apple's upcoming iPad Pro models rumored to feature the powerful M3 chip, Samsung may feel pressured to opt for the highest performing chipset available to stay competitive. However, given Samsung's relatively small share of the global tablet market, an expensive Snapdragon may not be a financially viable option. The Road Ahead Whichever route Samsung takes for the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra's processor, it faces tough decisions balancing cost, performance, and market viability. The reported development challenges and potential launch delay suggest the company may be struggling to find the right formula. If the rumored early 2025 launch window alongside the Galaxy S25 holds, it would allow Samsung to debut its latest smartphone and tablet flagships simultaneously, mirroring its 2022 product launch strategy. This could help maximize marketing impact, but it also raises expectations that the Tab S10 Ultra will deliver a true flagship experience worthy of launching alongside Samsung's next-gen premium phones. As more details emerge in the coming months, Samsung's chipset choice and resolution of any development hurdles will come into sharper focus. For now, the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra remains shrouded in rumors and possibilities as Android tablet fans eagerly await Samsung's next super premium offering. So what's your thought on the new upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra?
Which one would you prefer, the Snapdragon or Exynos Society chip? Let us know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.